Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, Pat back with you here uh, doing another Electric 2.0 video. Um, in this video here, I installed the new uh, cable pull hydraulic brake caliper and I did a lot of tweaking on it, but because it was actually rubbing against the spokes, I couldn't accurately center the brake caliper, even though I was manually moving it and I got it, you know, to where it wasn't hitting the spoke, but it was very, very close. I mean, I could slide like a small piece of paper in between it. That was about it. I want a little more clearance than that. I want to be able to actually, you know, adequately center this the proper way. So what I'm going to do is use a washer and I'm going to put a washer on this side of the axle right here. Let me carefully lift this up, but I'm going to put it on the inside right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and place this back down. Hopefully I don't have any conflict I'm trying to get this to seat back down. It's possible I might. But I don't think I'm really going to here. I just got to get it. There we go. Okay, the washer's in. It's not going to hurt anything. See, the purpose of the washer being on the inside right here is it pushes the fork out just a teeny bit. And because your caliper mounting point is part of the fork itself, it's going to actually give you a little more distance between it and the spokes. I wouldn't recommend going more than one washer inside of there. I mean, you want to leave enough room on your threads here so you can safely get everything tightened back down the right way. So while we're on that note, let me double check something here. Ooh, see that's, yeah, see that's tight in there, but it's not, not tightened down yet though. So we're going to go ahead and get our uh, axle tightened back down. Of course, make sure you put everything back on. These are your uh, little clamp washers. They have a little notch on the end. Those go on just like that. Make sure they line up with the notch down at the bottom. <clears throat> yeah, this is a good fix. You know, I did watch a video where, uh, God, I can't remember what channel it was, because actually there's just so many different ones I went through really quick just looking for what I was looking for. And uh, he, had to actually bend his rotor out a little bit because he was having the same problem with his uh, hydraulic uh, caliper rubbing against the spokes. So I didn't see this fix listed anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see how this works. Doesn't interfere with anything. Let's go ahead and tighten this back down. Everything is seated in the way it's supposed to be seated back in safely and securely. Give that a good tightening down there. Watch it, kitty. Watch out. What are you doing? Tim's always right here for us, guys. Yeah, he is. That's pretty good and tight. Okay, well, the one good news is we are definitely not hitting the spokes. And I mean, I you know, yeah, see, I can actually see clearance between the caliper and that area. Ow. Yeah, and keep your fingers out of the middle there. I'm just, uh, it's possible this washer might have been a little bit too wide. But I'm just kind of experimenting with this right now, so bear with me. But it definitely is something that will work. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can... Uh... Actually center this unit up. I mean, it's pretty tight against that. But I could actually probably bend the rotor back in a teeny bit if I have to. So other than that, that is a... Uh... A pretty decent 
fix for giving yourself more room from your caliper and in between your spokes if you're putting a new caliper on. I know I've seen this come up before. So, yep, other than that, hope you guys are keeping safe out there. And I'm going to do a little more experimenting with this. But either way, the washer on the inside right here will definitely give you clearance. You may have to uh, play around with different washer sizes to get the exact clearance, but it's a lot easier than sitting here trying to bend your uh, rotor left and right to get everything to line up. It's just, oh, it's crazy. Other than that, you guys keep safe out there, and I'll see you on the next Electric 2.0 video. Peace.